Ula from the Terrapin crew in Fiji. After three years of cruising, we are moving on to new adventures, which means we are listing for sale our beloved Terrapin. We've created a short video highlighting all the reasons why we love Terrapin, and hopefully you will too. Enjoy. So one of the best forms of insurance you can have on a cruising boat is a good uh, ground tackle system. And we've got one of the best ones there is on Terrapin. Uh, we've got a, a 1500 watt Low France Falcon windlass, uh, which is more than enough to lift the tackle that we have. It's mounted on top of this chain plate, which keeps the deck nice and clean, um, and also mounts it uh, very securely. Um, we have brand new 3 8 chain, 300 feet of it, uh, that we just bought last month. Um, and at the end of that chain, we have an 84 pound Mantis anchor. And Mantis is one of the best anchors on the market. Uh, we just bought it this year and it has never failed us, never drug. It holds securely and catches right away when we set it. Um, so some more of the upgrades that we did before we crossed the Pacific are we uh, reinforced our dinghy davits here along with the rack and have uh, brand new solar panels on top. This is two 250 watt panels, gives us a total of 500 watts of power, which is always enough to uh, power everything on the boat. Uh, another upgrade that we did was we installed a brand new Below Decks Alpha 3000 autopilot. It's a mechanical autopilot that complements our existing Raymarine hydraulic autopilot. So we have two functional autopilots, which is a huge advantage to have when you're in the open ocean. So we also have an insane amount of storage aboard Terrapin, um, starting back here with these uh, giant lazarettes that go five feet below the decks. As you can see, we have them chock full of boogie boards, we have snorkel gear, uh, inflatable stand-up paddle boards, uh, kayak paddles, just about everything that, uh, that you can think of um, back here. And we have plenty of room for all of our toys. In addition to all that, we also hold two giant propane bottles underneath the captain's seat here. As you can see, these are full-size composite bottles, and uh, usually that will get us through three to four months of cruising without ever having to uh, refill or replace the bottles, which is a huge advantage out here in the South Pacific because gas can be hard to come by. So one of the reasons I fell in love with Terrapin was the galley port light. I have constant breeze almost all the time. When we crossed the Pacific Ocean, we literally only closed this maybe two or three times due to a squall. Um, with the amount of freeboard that we've got on Terrapin, I never have to worry about like waves crashing through or anything, even in some of the uh, heaviest of conditions. So some highlights to the galley would be a 30 gallon trash receptacle. You don't have uh, trash spilling all over the place. I've got a three burner force 10 stove. And then I've got easy access on the fridge and freezer. So I've got the drawers that open like this, but then I've also got access right here. Makes it super easy. Again, the port light for all you women that are uh, claustrophobic, lifesaver, constant breeze. So as Phil just mentioned before, we have a lot of storage on Terrapin. Uh, we have a remarkable amount of food storage. I've got easy access drawers that can hold up to a month's worth of food. In addition to that, we have four big compartments here in the back that also hold about three to four months worth of food if you know how to pack it right. So what makes Terrapin the best family boat are the two sizable forward cabins. Um, each of our daughters has their own. They're large. They've got hanging closets. They've got cubbies for tons of space. They've got drawers underneath the bed. Um, I'm almost 5'9", I can stand up. I mean, it's not something where they're sleeping in like a mini closet. It's an actual real cabin, and there's two of them, one for each child. So speaking of the ridiculous amount of storage that we have on Terrapin, we have what we call the stack. And it's five big drawers that slide out. This is awesome for all your homeschool supplies, all the manuals that we've kept on board, all of like the courtesy flags, paperwork, you name it, we've got storage for it. Terrapin also has two heads, including a forward head with access from both of the girls' cabin, the Jack and Jill style head, with a full sink, a toilet, and shower. So just past the forward head is what we refer to as the garage. Um, this was a quarter berth that we converted into storage for tools mostly, uh, but also my dive gear, um, spare parts, and uh, basically anything you can think of. 
Um, the unfortunate part for me and fortunate part for whoever buys Terrapin is all these tools, spare parts and everything uh, come with. We're leaving with just suitcases so everything on the boat, all the equipment uh, is, is staying. So one of the reasons why I love Terrapin is the master cabin because nobody here has to sleep with their nose crammed into a corner. We have tons of storage in our master cabin. We have hanging closets. We have storage on the side of the bed. We have storage above the bed. We have storage under the bed. We have a lot of storage. What I also appreciate is that there's no hatch above the mattress. So when it's rainy, there's no water getting all over the mattress. We have four port lights that are almost always open even when it's raining so you have that constant breeze. Our master uh, cabin also has its own master head and these are just some of the reasons why we love Terrapin and hopefully you will too. So those are just a few of the reasons why we love Terrapin and why we think she is the best uh, blue water cruiser for a family that you could possibly buy. For a full list of specs and features, please check out our webpage at www.sailingwithterrapin.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.